Hi, and welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious baller of mushroom and ground beef stew and it's going to be slow cooked. But if you wish you just, just to do it in the boiler and on the stovetop, you can do that as well. So if this recipe interests you today, stick around and let's get started. Now this is one of these stew, stews that's sort of a budget meal. And you could use fresh mushrooms, as many as you want, or you can buy a can of the stems and pieces. We got a uh, carrot and potato chopped up here, a pound of ground beef, lean ground beef, some onion. We got mixed vegetables, if, uh, if that's what you got available, and that's frozen mixed vegetables, and some seasonings. So what we'll do is start frying our ground beef, and I'll talk a little bit more about it. Normally when I'm putting uh, Using my slow cooker, I'm, uh, I just put everything in and then leave it. But today I want to fry up the ground beef first. So I'm going to let this melt with some olive oil and a chunk of butter and get that melting. So what I want to do first is fry up my ground beef. I want to have it a little brown before it goes into slow cooker. And I'm going to add in some seasonings here. It's just my basic seasonings which is about a half a teaspoon full of sea salt. We'll toss in about a half a teaspoon full of onion powder and a half a teaspoon full of black pepper. Now this is all to your taste. If you want a little bit more certainly you can add it. I'm just going to fry this just a little. What I'm going to do now is toss in a medium onion and I'm going to get that cooking in there as well. Now, like I was saying, this is a budget stew. You're not getting that sirloin chopped beef. You're just the ground beef, but it's so delicious. It's a quick way to have a quick, affordable meal. And of course, if you're doing it in a slow cooker, it'll be cooking for you while you're at work. It's so good. And the best coming along nice. Like I was saying, I just got myself some white mushrooms there, but if you haven't got those, get yourself a can of the stems and pieces, drain off the liquid, and then fry that a little. And I'm going to do that now shortly with the fresh mushroom. And I'm going to put this in my pot, start off those layers. So what I'm going to do now is to remove my lid. And I'm going to be putting this ground beef and onions into the slow cooker. And I got it on a low because I'm going to be cooking this slow, slow cooking it. I'm going to put my lid on the slow cooker, add in just a piece of butter. And I'm going to toss those mushrooms in there because I'm going to, they're huge actually. Mm -hmm. And I got this on a markdown, like they added in the the fresh uh, salad area and I didn't want a lot but they're huge they're just perfect I'm gonna toss a little bit of pepper over there and the price was right the price I paid a buck for this yes. I mean you can't go wrong there no. and like you said again budget meal budget yeah. prices that's the way to go they cooked a little on one side, just flip them on the other. I'm just going to brown them off a little because um, they're going to be slow cooked in that slow cooker there with everything. Um, so what I'm going to add next to the slow cooker is a can of cream of mushroom soup. So this is just a can of cream of mushroom soup. You could use, um, if you don't like cream of mushroom soup, you could use cream of chicken, cream of celery, and I'm going to rinse it out with a can of water. So you could use water or you could use um, a chicken broth, a vegetable broth, it doesn't matter. And then you can toss in those mushrooms. So now I'll tell you what's next. 
So what I had soaking there was a carrot uh, and a couple of pieces of potato and I cut it in chunks. You can also use a cup of mixed vegetables or just green peas if you don't have green peas just corn whatever you got available just to color up that stew and i'm going to show you this now and we'll put this in the pot so now all of those ingredients we put in before just mix it around just to incorporate that cream of mushroom soup and just to mix it all in so these things are all pretty much cooked part cooked or cooked it doesn't matter and then you're going to add in the potatoes and the carrot and mix that through. Now, you could add everything in together. I got a couple of sticks of celery here. I got the mixed vegetables. Or you can wait till you get home from work and just add it in the last minute just to have that flavor. Now, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and then add it in about half an hour before I'm ready to serve it. So now I'm gonna put the lid on and we'll talk a little bit about that. So I'm gonna put this pot back onto my slow cooker and it's gonna be there, well, anywhere from, uh, I'm gonna say four to eight hours till you get home from work. If you put it on low, put it on a safe surface. I got mine over on the stove top. If you're cooking it in your boiler and you wanted to do it on your stove top, just have it there for about an hour. You don't need very much more than that. Till fork tender, because you got everything almost cooked except the vegetables. And these here is just quick uh, ingredients to go in there. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's almost ready and I'm gonna add in these two ingredients. So about half an hour before you're ready to serve it, you're just getting home from work and you're excited to have this delicious mushroom and ground beef stew. You're gonna put in a cup of mixed vegetables, two sticks of celery. You're gonna stir that in until it's all combined and a couple of sticks of green onion. Or I put steam coming out of it and, and the smell. And the smell, isn't that ever oh, good? I could picture a slice of homemade bread. Huh? <laughs> I know when you've been dipping into that, oh, all big, this juice, eh? Time. Okay, I so lid on and another half an hour and it'll be ready. Our mushroom ground beef stew is cooked and now I'm gonna scoop up a nice bowl full. Could you make that two bowls? You want to get mine first and I'll <laughs> show you and then it's yours. I promise. Okie dokie. Now it smells absolutely amazing in here. Now if you were scooping this up here now, I mean there's no limit to how much you're going to want in your plate. And having the fresh mushrooms is wonderful, but having the I guess the canned ones, Raymond, we enjoy mm -hmm. in these as well, eh? Oh, they're but all just good. look, isn't that ever delicious? Now, I'm gonna have a taste. I've gotta pour myself up a cup of tea, and this is a huge cup of tea, this one. And it's been steeping for a little bit, so I know it's delicious. So a nice big scoop, that delicious mushroom. Oh my gosh. Mm. We know. Drop the for spoon, delicious. <laughs> So good. The flavors of the mushroom going through the ground beef and those fresh ve vegetables. But the celery and the cream of mushroom soup goes well with this meal. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to make it. Of course, I got this nice chunk, the first piece or the last plate piece of the bread, which is my favorite. I'm going to dip into this now and finish this up. Of course, we're going to give Raymond a bowl. He's back there, you know, he's waiting. He's tired of waiting <laughs> and he's patient. I got to give him that. Guys, I thank I each and every one of you for joining us here today. The recipe is going to be posted in under this video. If you can't find it there, you know, you can find it on our website, www.bonitaskitchen.com. But you got to admit, Bonita, you mm -hmm. know, like I'm the man behind the scenes right here now, but I'm waiting to He's sit waiting down. He's waiting to get there and, and have yeah, all and of those a, mushrooms. Oh yeah, my gosh. And a double bowl of soup. <laughs>
<laughs> I know you're going to like this stew, Raymond. I know, I know. you know it's not a soup. <laughs> and you can also send us a message at bonitakitchen at gmail.com and we will send you the, the recipe there if you can't find it. And as well, if you subscribe to our email list on our website and you're not receiving them, don't forget to check the junk mail because it could be there. So if you're cooking your uh, uh, mushroom ground beef stew in the slow cooker, just put it on low on a safe uh, countertop and just leave it there until you get home from work. If you're cooking it in your boiler on the stovetop, a medium heat, an hour should be fine and just stir it occasionally and then it will be absolutely delicious. Fork tender. We won't take any more of your time. We know it's precious and we thank you for sharing a little bit of it with us here today. On behalf of myself, Raymond and our team here at Bonita's Kitchen, thank you for joining us from our kitchen to yours. You have a wonderful day. If you're visiting our beautiful province of Newfoundland, Labrador, don't forget to check out the town of Carbonera and join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Join us by the sea. Journey in culinary, always an open door. Benita's kitchen to yours. Benita's kitchen.